I'm also happy that you brought up Evelyn de Morgan. I'm, I'm a huge fan of hers, and thank you for sharing uh, some some information about her, especially with anybody who is not familiar with her works. She's amazing. And I did think about this while I was watching the video, which is, again, a very interesting video. Uh, I thought it was great. But I wanted to ask a specific question that might help understand what we talk about when we talk about perspective in a sense like this is actually something that you mentioned in the video uh you highlight two works by de morgan one being the gilded cage from 1919 i think and the other one being the love potion from 1903 and i know it may be difficult to describe without visual aid but i'd love it if you kind of maybe try to explain to us why despite the presence of some similar elements even within the composition of the work including a woman by a window and all of that in the gilded cage the woman is trapped while in the love potion, the woman is exercising her freedom. What are the elements that allow us to draw these conclusions about these paintings? Yeah, I mean, the, the Gilded Cage, um, as the earlier piece, has, um, it, you know, it's very obvious uh, in that there's a there's a there's literally a world outside the window um, that the um, of people sort of dancing and this kind of reveling, you know, represented representations of freedom and and artistic expression and music and joy and you see the the woman who's trapped with her husband her husband is kind of sitting and just kind of ignoring her um and she's kind of yearning to her her posture and her all her kind of energy is focused towards uh, almost trying to get out of the window she's you know pushing towards this life outside and de morgan uses symbolism um a lot to um draw your attention to particular ideas so you see that she's abandoned her her jewelry is on the floor so she's sort of um uh, discarding uh, her her luxuries and that these things aren't important and won't stand the test of time and also there's an open book on the floor. So we gather that she's been reading, you know, there's a there's a, an emphasis there on on education and, and this kind of covert acquisition of knowledge that women weren't supposed to have. Um, so it's all kind of the way that the composition flows. It's from the floor upwards, following the line of the woman out to the window. And then that sort of draws your attention to the top right hand corner where you have the gilded cage with the birds in, which are the, the sort of ultimate representation of confinement and uh, imprisonment. So, so there's a kind of flow to the piece that takes you from uh, from the ground up into the sky you know as, as if she's attempting to to fly but her wings are clipped um in the love potion uh it's again it's as you said it's a slightly different emphasis and this very um flat perspective which is you know quite late pre-raphaelite burn jonesy um kind of feeling um so what looks like uh, uh was a woman in a yellow dress um, with some sort of um, potion that she's mixing. And I think the, the original attribution of the figure was as um, a witch. Um, but she's not a witch because you look around the room and on her bookshelves. Um, so De Morgan loves putting women near books. <laughs> that's, a, um, that's a great sort of key into her thinking. Um, but her books are all sort of medical texts and, uh, and kind of um, suggest a sort of apothecary benevolence, you know, not a, a sp evil spells. Out the window in her room, um, uh, the love potion she's presumably mixing uh, it, there are there is a couple a young man and woman um so there's this kind of um it, and the woman in the room is not attempting to escape she is quite comfortable in this space there is nobody here to trouble her she's working she's um influencing the outside world from her room but she is the owner and possessor of that space. It's filled with her books, with her um, work as this um, mysterious, benevolent uh, magician of some of some kind. So her her window onto the world is one of um, empowerment in that she's influencing what's outside. She's not hiding from it. She's kind of um, doing her thing indoors, uh, which will then travel out into the world and have an effect on people. Um, so they're, they're different different modes of um of looking at of freedom and um enclosure in both of those works 